was the off stump. So the second one goes down. Lashith Malinga with those serious Yorkers gets through Marcus Thorne. I'll tell you what, we might need a new stump as well. Was that cannon into that off stump? Marcus Thorne just trying to give himself a bit of room. Just no chance. Too quick, too straight. And he's let him up. Well, that's been seriously zinged. He's going just for the one. It's oh, there's a leading edge, and that's out as well. An easy catch to Rob Quarney, four down. Another leading edge. Seemed to be a little bit unlucky there for Stornis because he got in position to play that shot and work it through the leg side, but it's just held up in the pitch. See that there, and it's just dolly there to Rob Quarney. Marcus Stoinis goes for nine. It's four for 16. Oh, that's a good short one. Is it too high? No, one for the over. Square leg umpire said to his mate at the other end. No, that's all right. Yeah, I think Carl Rowe was too worried if it was an extra delivery in the over. He's happy for it not to be. Oh, yeah, it's, you're right. It's skiddy, isn't it? Ugly. Very good bouncer, right on the badge. In the air, and out. So the slower ball doing the job. Malinga with a slower ball to Hilton Cartwright. Cartwright through the shot and ballooning a simple catch to David Hussey at mid-wicket. Well, that's why Malinga is one of the best T20 bowlers going around. His deception, I mean, he's got a great Yorker, but that slower ball often uh, bats but find it difficult to pick and what about his figures at the moment three for five can't right goes at six for 55. oh it's full looking for that base of those stumps first ball well the key to facing Malinga early on if you don't <laughs> really know what's going on the uh, nathan coulton aisle is you gotta have a short back lift he was saying where'd that come from I only saw it about the last couple of metres. But uh, Coulton Isle might as well just come out of here. We know that he generally plays his shots. So I think now he might as well continue that on. If he comes off, at least he might get maybe 20, 30 quick runs. Oh, fall, and that's got to be out. A brilliant slow ball, Yorker for Ovenlinger. Coulton Isle goes second ball. Two slow deliveries in the over. First one was the corner bit wicket. The next one from Nathan Coulton Isle. Trapped in front. He missed the first one. And he missed the second one too. Right across. Would have counted into Midland leg. An easy decision for the umpire. Well, that is just out. Would not have been a different decision. I thought he had good figures a couple of balls ago. Now he's got figures of four for five. Coulton Isle gone at seven for 15. Well, that's out. That that's is out. That is five for. And Malinga, well, his best figures are five for 13. He's got five for six at the moment. A full toss, a straight full toss. It's just been played all around. And Malinga, well, what can you say? Full and straight does the job. Unbelievable for Malinga. The unusual action, and batsmen just cannot pick it up. The change of pace, also, they can't pick up. But tonight, he's been right on the money. And Tom Truffitt on four, base nine deliveries, but Malenga is on fire here at the Wacker ground. Scorches, eight for 58. Brilliant Yorker, absolutely brilliant. Malenga with six. The Zig Bales, they are flashing, and well, they just can't pick him, can they? I mean, he's getting most of his Wickets with slower balls, that last one, 125 k's, here it is. Side spinner again, and the bat comes down and it goes around it and clips the off stump, and away go the bales. Well, this is high-class bowling from a high-class bowler as well. He is world-renowned, and we're very lucky to have him on our screens. Shane Ward at one end, and you've got Lasseth Malinga at the other. And then he goes for two, and the scorches. 
They are nine for 59. Malinga with one ball left. Moment, he's boasting the figures of six wickets for seven runs. He's got a couple of slips in place. He's got catches all round the bat. To me, it looks like it's going to be another slower ball. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Unbelievable spell. And the crowd are appreciating, even though it's a home crowd for the Scorchers that have been totally outclassed by the Sri Lankan speedster.